Hi, I'm Claudio. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to level up your Zoom game if you're using Keynote on a Mac. The problem so far has been that whenever you shared a Keynote presentation on Zoom, you became a small little window in the upper right corner and all the focus was on your slides. Now, how cool would it be if you could put yourself right into the slide so that your audience can focus on you and your message all at the same time? This now has become possible with Keynote 11.2 without having to install and learn yet another piece of software. It's as simple as adding an image or a movie to your slides. So open up Keynote and create a slide, put a couple of words on it, and then go to your media section here and click on live video. This now puts a live video feed of you or your camera that is connected to your Mac right onto your screen. And of course, you can treat it like any other object. You can resize it, you can move it, and you can also change the mask. So I can change it to be a square, for example, or two by three, and then make it quite a bit bigger here, put me on the side. And all of a sudden, you can see the potential that this has when you're sharing your slides. There is one feature or one, one of these masks I really, really like. It's the circle, because depending on your situation, the circle might just add a little touch to what you are doing with your slides. And a really, really cool thing is that you can now go back and forth between your slides and your camera feed extremely easily. Add a new slide and make that a blank slide. And now on that slide, we are going to copy this video feed, or you could also just pull it in again, but we are going to copy this video feed and um, make it 16 by nine so it can fill the entire slide. And now you can very, very easily toggle back and forth between your slide presentations and your full screen video. Isn't that a really, really cool feature? I hope you're going to give it a try in your next Zoom presentation. And if you liked this video, click on like, subscribe to my channel, and of course, I will be very, very curious to hear how your audience reacts once they see you in your own slides. See you in the next video. Have fun. Bye-bye.